You've just woken up. Something smells musty and sweet. When you open your eyes, your bed has a trail of molted insect shells, rust-colored stains, and tiny smears of excrement. Just saying this makes me itchy. We thought these little vampires were taken care of after we bombed them with DDT back in the 1950s. But they're back! DDT was outlawed in 1972, so we can't just nuke them from orbit to be sure. The official name for bed bugs is Cymex lectularius, and they're parasites that feed off of their sleeping host's blood. The largest they get is only a quarter of an inch, and they're flat, so they're easy to miss. They're brownish and wingless with six shiny legs, and they use their syringe-like mouth beaks to pierce your skin and suck your blood. Now, unlike Nosferatu, these guys rarely wake their victims while feeding, and can even take three to ten minutes to gorge on your blood. While drinking, they release their own saliva into your broken skin, which can eventually cause an allergic reaction. Luckily, they don't spread disease, but the bites can swell and itch. Still, they probably won't actually drain you dry. It takes a hundred 100,000 bedbugs feeding on you at least once a week to make you anemic. Let's also put one misconception to rest. Bedbugs aren't a sign of poor hygiene. Even immaculate mansions can get them. It only takes one to ride on in and infect your whole home. Here's a short list of spots where they can conceal themselves. Sofa seams, bed frame cracks, torn wallpaper, backpacks, light switches, televisions, clocks, phones, rugs, baseboards, curtains, clothing, towels, or even pillows. Basically, anywhere dark and protected is up for grabs. One way to tell you've got them is from the coriander-like odor they release when they're alarmed. The worst part is they can live up to a year without eating, so even if you move into a vacant residence, they could still be there waiting. So then how do we kill them? Like with any vampire, you should hire a professional. To successfully eradicate them sometimes takes up to four different treatments, like dry ice sprays, steam, vacuuming, fumigation, and insecticides. Sustained exposure to temperatures over 120 degrees Fahrenheit will also kill them, which is why you'll need to wash all your linens and blast them inside a hot dryer. And remember what I said about messy clutter? Yeah, you've got to clean all that up so they won't have any place to hide again. Now that we've got the details down, I want to hear your grossest bedbug stories, or any other kind of pests you've dealt with. Tell your tale in the comments. And for more on everything from wasps to raccoons, check out all of our animal-related episodes in one playlist over here. Or it's here.